The Hayden Library has undergone a transformation, turning it into a new space that combines traditional aspects of a library with new technology. One notable addition is the new makerspace on the third floor. The makerspace here at the library um, is a, a resource for students, just like um, a library has been a place where you come and you, um, you do research. Um, it's no different. Uh, we're just offering students tools that they can do their own research and create their own knowledge. We're soon going to have 18 3D printers um, uh, ready for students to, to, get, to get onto. Vinyl cutter, uh, we have a button maker, we've got products that will 3D scan things, they'll scan your books and turn them into searchable PDFs, we've got laser cutters, we've got a sewing uh, a section that is just really amazing. These new in-house additions are great for students, but the makerspace provides even more benefits. You can check out technology just like you can check out a book at the library. So you can actually come in, um, and believe it or not, at ASU Library right now, you can come in and reserve uh, virtual reality glasses and, uh, and take them back to your dorm. The new equipment is not the only exciting addition for students on the upper floors. So there are about 30 new study rooms in Hayden of a variety of different sizes for a variety of different uses. For example, this one is a presentation practice room where students can practice giving presentations, write on the large whiteboards, and this is all reservable. So every study room will have a panel on it, similar to this one, and you can make a reservation straight through the panel if the room is open. Among the many study rooms are the third floor audio and visual studios, which feature audio equipment and green screens for student use. Students also now have access to professional staff in the unit for data science and analytics and the map and geospatial hub. While one can help students make sense of and visualize their data, the other can show students map data not only on paper, but in digital and tactile forms. So Hayden Library is the largest library in our university library system, and because of that, that means that there is a lot of space for a lot of new and creative things. So whereas the fourth floor is a really traditional space for books, we have other floors that are a little less traditional, things you might not expect to see in a library. But it, the bottom line is that we still provide it to students for free. We provide you with whatever you need, whenever you need it, wherever you are, whether that's a book or whether that's a 3D printer. Thank you.